Next in, no Amy Burless is looking for a happy ending for her personalized children's books. And she's asking the dragons for $100,000 to expand on her publishing venture. Hello dragons, my name is Noemi Burles and I am president of Printicket.com. I'm looking for a $100,000 investment in exchange for 25% of my company. Families today want children's literature to reflect their lifestyles and values. When I was a child, there were no stories that reflected my um, ethnicity. My father's a uh, Haitian and my mother is a Caucasian French Quebecer. And there were just no stories with children from mixed backgrounds in, in, uh, in Quebec. That's why Noemi came up with Print-A-Kid, storybooks with characters that reflect Canada's multicultural makeup, which retail for about $30. You give me the information. It's a multiple choice for the skin tones, the hair color, and all of these drawings are pre-made. And this is the kind of thing I want to be able to do with, with the uh, improvements to our website. We'd like to be able to do this. <laughs> funny. Yikes. I don't know about the other ones, but the one in the lower right-hand corner is one good-looking character. So let me show you this one. Noemi has caught their attention. Then she dangles another feature of her web-based business. Uh, Miss Dickinson, you, you talk about uh, measuring marketing results. I mean, with this information, you have information about the family, about the child, and you have exact information because the customer... Yeah, that's true. The customer is forced to give you accurate information. And print -a kid relies on gathering detailed information from customers, the kind of data marketers spend a fortune obtaining. That's an angle, because, you know, normally, you're right, they ask me to fill out this crap all the time. I never Complete, fill it out. Completely. But if I got a free book... Her database, you guys, when she develops her database, gold. No, I mean, I was ready to dismiss you. I thought I'd seen this a million times before, but I hate to admit, you've completely turned me around. You're the real deal. It's yep. interesting. This is a very cool idea. Have you sold any of them? Yes, we've sold over 15,000 books or CDs. 15,000? 15, 15,000 wow. books or CDs. And uh, last year, our uh, revenues were $144,000. I'm impressed. No, Amy. Sure. I'm looking at this, and it seems to me that you sold last year three to 4,000 units of books. You're right. right. So if you shot it up to 10,000 units, tripled, mm -hmm. 10,000 units would be about $400,000 a year, true? Mm -hmm. And gives a $200,000 gross margin. And looking at it strictly as investment does not dictate to me why, why I would want to make a $100,000 uh, investment. So. I'm out. No, I mean, I, I don't know if it, 100,000 is where I want to be at that stage in this okay. business. I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say I'm out on this. You know, I'm, I'm really excited by it, but I, I, uh, I, don't, I really don't think it's a large-scale business. Okay. Uh, I'm out. Three Dragons have closed the book on this deal, but Arlene and Kevin have yet to write the final chapter. I assume these go for three to five-year-olds. I'll tell you what I, the problem is, what I hate about three to five year olds, but I disdain, they don't have their own credit cards. Those little guys can't pull the trigger. You gotta get to their mothers. One of the other reasons they just drive me crazy is they get old. You can't keep them at three. Then they're four, then they're five, then they don't want your book anymore. And I think that's, it's a very tough business. For that reason, I'm out. Kevin's turned the page on this proposal. Can Noemi keep Arlene in the plot? Miss Dickinson, I will do everything to sell this product and to help you help me sell this product. I would love to work with you. I think I would learn a lot and I think that we could make a lot of money. Gravel more, it works on her. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Uh, I need to show that I want it. Uh, groveling's good. I'm listening hard to what mm -hmm. everybody's objections are, and there's some I agree with and some I don't. But, um...
I'd, I'd be prepared to I'd be prepared to invest. Um, but I'd want to invest hundred thousand for fifty one percent. That's a lot. Um, my husband owns 40% of the company. Uh, could I possibly consult with him? Absolutely. I've got a client who buys. I know somebody who'll buy this now. Hi, honey. Hi. I got an offer. Yes. But it's not what we talked about. No? No. How much is it? 100,000 for 51%. All right. Arlene uh, Dickinson, the mm -hmm. one who has the marketing uh, empire. All right. She's willing to pay that. So it's 500,000 for 51%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Okay. All right. C'est bon. I love you. We have a deal. All right, that's great. Thank Congratulations. Looking forward to working now, with why you. Why did you, you, learn learn that? you learned that groveling works. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do more great of it. Great presentation. Well, thank you very much. Very thank you. Kevin mm -hmm. said to you, you learned it pays to grovel. <laughs> you know, I really wanted to work with her, so I, I told her I thought that, uh, you know, being forthright about that would, would uh, make her maybe more willing to work with me. Did you find there was a lot of pressure in that moment? Yeah, I was like, okay, no, I mean, this is it. What words can you say that will tip the balance? And that's, you know, when I, I, I thought, well, you know, the thing that will make the biggest difference is letting her know how, how uh, eager I am to work with her. What about when she actually made the offer? I mean, she gave her numbers, she yeah. said 51%. Yeah. It's my baby, like I said, it's my, my first baby, uh, you know, and um, giving up control is hard.